All right, we just set up the Bighorn Outdoor Pizza Oven, and we have pellets, barbecuing pellets, and we actually got fire starters too, because um, it's really cold out. Uh, we just got over the negative temperatures, so I think we're at about like 15 today, which seems balmy. So, just filling that up. The pellet scoop. I'm gonna get that burn box. This is our first time ever using it. It's like totally brand new. So, hopefully we don't mess anything up. That would be sad. Getting there. The fire starter on top and exposed a few from down below. Set it in there and I will take this off for some airflow so we don't put out the fire. And once we get a flame going, I'll put the door back on. I mean, once we get it really, really going. Okay. All right, so it's coming out the hopper there. It's warming up. Yes, I had forgotten to turn my camera sideways, so the first videos are dumb looking, but we're just gonna leave that open until the fire catches a little more. Oh, here it comes. See that smoke coming through? Nice. And the hopper up top is closed, so it's coming this way. Ooh, we're excited. All right, so we've got this going pretty nicely. There's smoke, it's coming out the chimney up here. So I think we're gonna put this on. And in a few minutes, we're gonna put some more uh, pellets into that hopper. So we've been adding a little bit of pellets every uh, five minutes or so, and I just added some, but hopefully it's still pretty. Look at that roaring fire, yeah. I am so excited. This is like the best idea. Yep. All right, there's flame coming out the top. So uh, apparently that means it's ready to go. So we will see. It's hard to see the flame in the light, but you can see that. So we will add, oh. All right, here's our little tester. And, ooh, I'm gonna see the fire in there. Sip the all, we're gonna put that door on. And it's pretty thin, so, so, I was trying to put a timer on, we did a one minute timer. And we're just gonna put it back in there for maybe 30 seconds to get that other side, but, I'm, I would be lying if I said this was anything but perfection looking. Yes, I All right. So our test crust is um, gorge. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. I mean, does it get better than that, right? And this was, this was just like a store-bought mix because we knew that the beginnings maybe wouldn't be uh, perfect, but there it is. Cornmeal for your ball bearings. And uh, yeah, all right. The first one is the pineapple and ham Hawaiian pizza. All right, let's go for the first real one. Okay, I'll take this off. Let's see how our flip, oh yeah. Here we go. Put that bad boy in. Oh, look how well that cornmeal works. So it doesn't stick to the pizza peel. And that is just brilliant. True. All right, here we go. So we set a 30 second timer. We check on it. 
All right, it's looking good. I think we're gonna give it a little turn, a little quarter turn, half turn. Ooh, a one-handed technique from my husband. That is impressive, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so it came out of the oven, or the pizza oven. So far it's been about one minute. Let's do a little turn, because I'm not able to help. I'm gonna put that on. And there it is, pizza perfection right there. Even if you're not a Hawaiian pizza fan, you have to admit that looks good. And then we're gonna add another scoop um, to the hopper to make sure it's all ready for the next pizza. All right, our final pizza, and uh, this one's mine. So I'm gonna eat. I hope you enjoyed our new um, big horn pizza oven video. That's it.